Comment time here again with Great Iron Girls Weekly Pick Six. This is week 14 of the NFL. I had my reindeer antlers on today. I think I saw a Dasher and Prancer and Vixen and Comet outside earlier this morning. So last week I was four and two. Again! Ugh! I could not seem to beat four wins, even with the help of the Magic 8 Ball. Maybe Santa can put in maybe elusive six in a week. I'll have to write him a letter. Christmas is in only two weeks, so time is running out on my season. And also on the NFL teams trying to make the playoffs, the playoff picture is still blurry. In the AFC, only the Chiefs have clinched. And there are 11 other teams shooting for the remaining six spots. In the NFC, only the Saints have clinched and no teams have been eliminated so far. Crazy. At least it makes the games more exciting. On to week 14. Let's see if I can do better than 4 and 2 this week. The Magic 8 Ball? Yes! The first game this week is the 11 and 1 Kansas City Chiefs at the 8 and 4 Miami Dolphins. The Chiefs are a touchdown favorite on the road. Tua has been playing well for a rookie quarter back for the Dolphins. But can he keep up with Patrick Mahomes? I don't think so. Andy Reid will have the Chiefs ready for whatever the Miami defense throws at them. I'm picking the Chiefs. Let's see what the Magic 8 Ball says. The Magic 8 Ball, will the Chiefs win? Signs point to yes. The next game is the 8 and 4 Indianapolis Colts at the 7 and 5 Las Vegas Raiders. The Colts are a 3 point road favorite. Philip Rivers has cut down on his turnovers the second half of the season. And the Colts are stronger on the line of scrimmage. The Raiders could win this game, but they're just too inconsistent for me to pick them right now. I have to go with the Colts. Magic 8 Ball, what do you say? Do not break it now. Magic 8 Ball, what do you say? Outlook, good. My next game is Washington football team at the 49ers. Both teams are 5-7 and seven and technically still in the playoff run. 49ers are a long shot to stay in last place in their division. Washington is tied for first in the crummy NFC East. But they did beat the Steelers last week to hand Pittsburgh their first loss of the season. Washington's quarterback, Alex Smith, is looking like comeback player of the year and has been playing well. This week, he'll be up against his old team. The 49ers have been battling injuries all season. But I have to think their defense can contain Washington enough to scratch out a win. I think the 49ers is a close one. Magic 8 ball? My sources say no. This is a Sunday night game of division leaders. The 11 and 1 Pittsburgh Steelers at the 9 and 3 Buffalo Bills. The Bills are two point home favorites. The Steelers just came off a last minute loss to Washington and did not look good at all. Josh Allen has the Bills offense rolling. Steelers have some angry issues to deal with. Still, this one is too close to call, so I'm going to make this my corn flip game of the week. And this is Steelers, Tails is the Bills. Tails. I see it was a 7 and 5 Baltimore Ravens at the 9 and 3 Cleveland Browns. Let me repeat that in case you think you heard wrong. Yes, the Browns are 9 and 3. Cleveland put a whooping on the Tennessee Titans last week. They were ahead by 31 points before the Titans made tight late in the second half. I don't expect them Baker Mayfield to play like that every week, but he doesn't have to. They have Chubb in the backfield and an improving defense. The Ravens' pass punch is better than Tennessee's, but the Ravens' offense still looks lost at times. I think this will be an ugly, low-scoring game, but Cleveland will win. Hey, Magic 8-Ball, am I right? Outlook, not so good. Last game is a 6-6 six six Minnesota Vikings at the 7-5 Tampa Bay Bucks. Tampa is a touchdown favorite at home. The Tampa offense has looked out of sorts the past few games. Maybe they use the bye week to work out the kinks in the system. They better hope so if they want to make the playoffs. Minnesota has been inconsistent all year. Her cousins has thrown too many interceptions. Summer is a month where Tom Brady shines the most. He's won 81% of his December starts. Even better at home, I've said it before. No one ever got rich betting against Brady at crunch time. I am not going to either. I'm picking the Bucks. 
What does the magic eight ball say? Mirror part of it. Magic eight ball. What do you think the box will win? Yes. Oh, how many magic eight ball agrees with me? Thank you for watching Good Iron Girls Weekly Pick Six. Please join me in my quest to get a perfect six in a week. Subscribe to my channel and tune in next week for week 15 of the NFL.